You want a piece of me, boy? And welcome back to Hit the Sauce Gaming. Hit the Sauce Gaming. You were waiting on that, weren't you? <laughs> of course you were. Yeah. All right, let's go watch some loading screens. Fuck. I remembered this time. Good. I didn't. <laughs> no, it's actually a pretty cool cutscene coming up. Spoilers. Yeah, looks like hell. Ooh. Do you have captions on? Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay. Which I means see, I don't we'll see gunshots in the captions. Yeah. You don't see. <laughs> I mean, we need that. Wow, uh, those creatures look so much cool. Uh, that's cooler up front. Uh, yeah, when they're not, like, a fucking four blur. pixels wide. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mutilists look a lot cooler. My marines don't act like that. What do you mean? Then I fall on the floor and cry. That's right. They just go, ah! <laughs> no. Oh, I thought you meant like real life Marines. No. I was gonna be all like, yeah, good Shit, one. What is that thing? That's a Hydra. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they look fucking more hardcore. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind that all of the fucking little cut tiny guys you see are the eight foot tall fucking superhumans. Bam. Man, I wish you could take a moment to punch. Ooh. One bullet. Wait until you... No, oh, oh, it'll be explained. Check this shit out. That thing? Boom! <laughs> That's the fucking, uh, shell. Nice. We came as fast as we could. Ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. Nice one, Tychus. Yeah. He would have been thinking of that one. Yeah. He probably had somebody say it to him, so I guess it's that <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Really? The last? Because there's a lot of men I'm sure you know aren't on char right now. Yep. I mean, fucking Albert Einstein. He's dead. Yeah, probably we'll probably wouldn't him. expect to see him. Probably a lot of... You'd be more surprised to see him than Thank Jim Rayner. Yeah. But I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. Why don't they do that in the real game? I don't know. Because <laughs> they don't have enough bullets. Because Jim Rayner's not down there. Well, you he's infected. Pirate, yep. Whatever Gonna have to kill him. And his family, just to be that. sure. Right as I was Holy shit. Man, that would be a... Dude, we can make that movie. That's horrible. We can make that fucking movie. <laughs> like a zombie apocalypse happens, one guy in your fucking immediate family gets infected. You're all fucked. <laughs> all right. I was just thinking, you know, uh, war crimes. You have to go after their families. Ah, <laughs> oh, of course. Rock Politics. Low, Politics. Jimmy boy. These plastic critters just keep coming. When we uh, the biggest turkey. See, that's something I was trying to get a hand on. Hate to spoil all your fun time. The 50 cal? Well, oh, we gotta start yeah. pushing toward the primary. I bet you it's higher caliber than that. Yeah. Just the fucking. All order, old buddy. Between them, that is what. Fucking. Because future, man. Flies over here. 10, 20 caliber. We ain't in no position to push against anything. You're that was a lot of negatives in that sentence. Yeah. All right. Now you hold him up, Jim. Make a positive. <sighs> Damn poison. I told those pansy ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. Isn't that nice I how you understand. can just do that? You just poison a commander and then you. take over his command. Well, just fucking... Easy. I mean, he, he's, so, he's letting his warrants know, but I figure there has to be a chain of command there that'd be kind of ticked off about getting the fucking, uh, reinforcements or the fucking... fucking criminal they elected above them as the OC. Worry, yeah. He has experience, though. I get it. It's just... Mercenary. Damn. Yeah. See, I would also think just a word of mouth is not enough. I would expect them to have to hand over something that like shows that he has the command. This is Kate Lockwell like a, reporting live for UNN. Baton. Stunning news tonight. <laughs> as massive numbers of if you hold the baton, you, you, we follow you. Yep. That's how it works. While they aren't giving up the world's big if I twirl the baton, the get the fuck away. To be massing right. near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. 
I know what it means. It's getting good. Basically, that news was saying that Zerk were falling back into their home world. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> why. All right, I think I, I got all the mercenaries. Yeah. All right, now I have a lot of money, right? A cool view. Yeah. For freaking upgrades. Twen uh, Buy them all? No, no, no. I wouldn't be able to afford them all. What I buy is going to depend on your choice here. We've secured okay. our landing zone thanks to and you. It's all up to you. Yeah. General Wolf You can change your difficulty at this point. I could. That's stupid. I can change the difficulty at any time. Yeah, I don't know why they give you the option right now. Because you can do it at any time. Give us the opportunity we need. They, do you, they do it as a drop down like that? Yeah, on every single mission. This oh, has been there. I didn't see that there. <laughs> okay. So launch a selected mission. You know, I've been thinking. It scares me more than the Zerg. We're gonna have yeah. to take out those Nidus worms before we can make a move on the main hive. Them Zerg bursting up under us wherever they please ain't exactly conducive to our health and well-being. How does he know well, what conducive means? Placing charges <laughs> at the right spots in their Nidus network could flood the whole system with lava. What's your take, General? Well, it's dangerous, but it could work. Bigger problems steal their flyers. Even if we could move our units forward, we can't provide adequate air cover while the skies are contested. Any suggestions? Intel shows 80% of the Zerg flyers nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. We take that down, we'll own the air. Nice. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, right now. Ah. So what do you want to do? So you sabotage the tunnels to take out the Nidus worms. worms, or go after the platform for the air. Which All will right. take out their brood lords and the mutilists. No, I've seen us have great uh, air control when we were going up against them. But how much um, air or ground to air units do they have? Not much. Oh, uh, hydralists are uh, great ground to air, and they'll still have some air units, uh, but it will be significantly. Uh, Reduced with by taking these out. Uh, okay. But sabotaging the tunnels means that Kerrigan will show up. No, no, Kerrigan's showing up. But as won't... as many times as uh, in both. Okay. The difference is you won't have the nice worms popping up outside of your base. And in this one, they uh, the brood lords, and I guess mutilists, but brood lords are the bigger problem. Won't be showing up. The brood lords are the ones that shoot out the two dudes and fucking fuck your shit up. Yeah. All right, I would I would definitely take out the platform. I think we could do more with the air, and then uh, just preparing for any type of worms popping up is, is easier. Okay, so you want to attack the platform? Attack the platform. Okay, you sure? Yeah. That's you sure. Be, yeah, it's gonna be mine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was uh, prepared. Fine with with yeah, I was prepared for either one. Yeah. They surface, <clears throat> but there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We got to take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give him hell, Rain. Why can't you, Dick? Because him and his the family are The are using this old <laughs> orbital platform as their base of operations. That's the platform? It's actually you could fucking nuke that. That's they just said. You could, but they yeah, said no, you could, but, but you, could. you need a mission. <laughs> so. to destroy with Storyline, dude. But clearing the whole thing with ground forces will be costly. Adjutant. What's keeping that thing in orbit? Has it got power? Affirmative. Thermal readings indicate intense heat coming from the platforms. Core temperatures are kept stable by a series of coolant towers, still operational despite the Zerg and See, why can't you just nuke those? Perfect. There's cool. your answer, General. We get on board and destroy the coolant towers in each section. The reactors will go critical and take care of the Zerg for us. Excellent plan. You missed your calling, Rainer. You would have made an outstanding staff officer. I reckon I'm right where I'm meant to be, General. Now let's get saddled up and hit that platform. What's up with the tilted cam? Kerrigan won't be giving us a second chance. Is it tilted cam? It looks tilted. Oh, it's not. No. It looks slightly tilted. It's a little bit of an angle yeah. that, that we're looking at him at. Stop tilting. You're tilted. Oh, I'm, I'm a little tilted. All right. Sport, uh, exploit the weaknesses of your opponents. If they lack anti-air capabilities, him with flyers. If they lack detection, use cloak units. Or, my plan, Bomb the just oh. use fucking uh, battle cruisers. Oh. And the end. Alright, so, I'm scanning how was your day? That's alright. Um, 
my like I said before, my fucking Got nasal passes. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. I've been snorting in boogers all day. Lovely. Yeah. I need to find a way to just not like Damn, Jimmy. have so much uh, so places up. Right. Like I need to not breathe through my nose during the day. Once we blow those cooling no, that's that'd be bad for your breathing. I your know mouth, it is, but it'll give my nose a rest. <coughs> At least until I'm out of work, because I only got nine more or eight more days left. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like just uh, working out there, all of the chemicals in the air have been affecting me, and way more sensitive to them. <sighs> wow. Yes. Oh. Yesterday I stayed home and I laid on the couch and. Uh, Eat Rice Krispie treats and McDonald's. My nose is fine. <laughs> Will do. I also snorted saline, like the whole time. Uh, yeah, saline, wink, wink. wink. Snorted saline. I had to. I'm implying he did cocaine. Why would it, that would make my nasal passages worse? Cocaine. It doesn't, it doesn't help my allergies. I'm not gonna do it. If you told me cocaine would cure it, then fuck it, I'll do. I'll snort it all. <laughs> no, you can't snort all the cocaine. Why? Uh, Al Pacino already did. Ah. Uh, yeah, I've seen the movie. I actually haven't seen the that movie. The Al Pacino movie? The one was it with... called Al Pacino? Uh, yeah. It was uh, called Al Pacino. He says, say hello to my little face? Something like that. Uh, Dude, it's pretty... That, that, man, you, you've seen it. Why are you asking me these questions? I'm just double checking. You clearly know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude, I love that Not movie. There's tea parties and all. Oh, man, I love the tea party scene. Well, how, how nice he was to the little girl. I mean, it, it was touching, really. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? I don't know. We'll make a movie like that, though. Fucking, uh, yeah, we can get Al Pacino on, on board. Okay. We'll just bribe him with the rest of the cocaine that he didn't snort. No, he did all of the cocaine, so we're kind of screwed there. Alright, we'll get new cocaine. Dude, what part of all the cocaine don't you understand? <laughs> uh, all the cocaine? <laughs> Alright, so I'm just building up a defense here. And uh, then I'll just build a fuck ton of battle cruisers, roll through, and win. Okay. This is a really easy mission. Takes a little while, but. Base is under attack. There it yeah. is. Well, that map's bigger than I thought it was. Oh shit, what are you. Yeah, repair the fucking. Uh... No, he's dead. Alright. <laughs> just bail? <laughs> yep, just bail, go to the next one. <laughs> nice. I'm actually kind of proud of myself there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, okay. Not enough so I've been trying to think about my costume, what else I need. Mm -hmm. I need a blue jumpsuit. I'm going to get some felt so I can, like, make shoulder pads and, like, a, like a design for, like, the, the chest plate. But besides that, I don't think I need anything. I'm just wearing my tennis shoes. Chest plate? I don't know. Like, he has the... He has a, you like, should get the like little floppy uh, dick kind of looking speedo thing at the bottom, too. Well, I don't think he has that. Yeah, he did. Totally had that. He just had... He had a tight onesie. Oh, it was just in that one scene that he had. Yeah, I don't want that. It was just the one scene. Ah, fine. Right. Yeah, uh, just for anyone out at home that doesn't know, we plan on going as Danny Sex Bang and a Dick Elder in uh, 6969, our new favorite thing of all time. Oh, yeah. So. Well, it's not our new favorite thing. It's just our favorite thing now. Yeah, it's just the thing that Upgrade. that his, have, we have seen, and it has been determined to be the greatest thing of all time. Oh, yeah. But, uh... So the Cubs are in the World Series. That's another great thing. Which, anyone who doesn't know... I don't know if I've mentioned the Cubs too much on... Uh, I have had to have mentioned them a few times. But, uh... I, I've been a huge Cubs fan for my entire life. Well, fully aware that they suck. Yes. People always like to remind me that whenever yeah. I mention I'm a Cubs fan. You know fan. they haven't won a World yeah. Series. You know they suck, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, I, I know. I watch them more than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh, so this is kind of a big deal for me, and they won game two last night. We're actually recording on a Thursday specifically because that way I can, uh, we can record and I won't miss a Cubs game. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I never understood why people uh, shit on people about that like teams that don't win. Because you can't just like a team because it wins, then you'll be flip flopping all the time. And I mean, you'd be an you, asshole. You, then you'd be a New England Patriots you fan. You hear that from a Yankees fan, but we aren't doing the greatest. We haven't done the greatest in a little bit. Yeah, that's because the uh, Steinbrenner died and he sold his soul to Satan. That's probably it. I, I have I have a good authority. Yeah. Well, did you sell your soul to Satan? Ah, uh, for a donut. It was a shitty deal. Well, probably a good donut. It was a pretty good donut now. 
I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna build a couple of armories to get upgrades for a battle cruiser here. Yeah. And I'm doing great in fantasy. Yeah, I, I freaking. People I posted, are just quitting now. I posted the second lowest score in fantasy last week. Yeah. And won. <laughs> it was great. Oh man, fucking. Both my running backs put up goose eggs. Both starting running backs, both good running backs, yeah. both put up fucking goose eggs. I have a good team, yes. and for some reason, none of them are fucking producing. And it's driving me up the goddamn wall. Go, go, go. Yeah. Ah, I think stop yawning. Yeah, I haven't had to. I haven't, I, like, I haven't had that issue, but there's always been yeah, one. Fucking Julio one, like, Jones. Yeah, like, Julio Jones might put up, like, one or two. When has Julio Jones put up one or two points? Um, three weeks in a row. The week before and the week he after. He got 130 yards last week. I know. The week before and the week after, uh, he got the 300 yards. He had he did that, and then the week following that, he got two points. Oh, God. But I'm just saying, it's like he, his goes up and down. When a, when a player does. that I have does shitty, there's always another player that picks up the slack, and then vice versa. It's always been just back and forth with the two. So luckily, they haven't uh, uh, both done it at the same time. My wide receivers aren't the greatest other than Julio Jones, and then my running backs, I keep trying to trade them out. I did pick up a pretty good kicker, though. A kicker for uh, a pretty the good Broncos. Kicker. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, he's doing pretty well. And I imagine the Broncos and Chargers going against each other, there's going to be a lot of field goals involved. I mean, typically just getting a uh, kicker yeah, on a high-powered yeah. offense is your best bet. Yeah. Yeah, he, with the Broncos offense, is pretty good. No, no, it's really not. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're doing all right. They're, they're getting, in the top like seven I teams, I think. I find, I don't know, dude. I I know uh, you only look at fantasy football. Yes, I know. So I don't, the real world, uh, our real world application versus fantasy is, is going to be very different. Yeah. So I look at the Broncos' offense, and it's I mean, maybe a little bit below league average. <sighs> But uh, you look at it, and maybe it works out fine for fantasy. So, oh yeah, I need to fucking build some missile turrets yeah, see, before they. I don't watch the games in real life. I just watch them on fantasy. So that's the only reason why I might have done so well. Well, I mean, that's perfectly fucking and uh, blind legit. Luck. There's a l yeah, and blind luck. <laughs> fucking. God. That's the only thing that's kept yeah, me alive shit. too. I was driving through Philadelphia, and they have all the uh, the license or the uh, stoplights on like the pole by where the. Broken crosswalk signs are usually. Mm -hmm. So I'm not used to that. I, my hometown was like the one of the first, or one of the few two times that I like. A few left, two times? Yeah, I left the state. I left the state to go to Jersey okay. once before, and then I left the state to go to Philadelphia. And so I'm not familiar with how the streetlights are. In fact, even Jersey freaked me out because they had poles instead of uh, like wires. My hometown has wires with the streetlights on hanging from them. Like good old fashioned style. Mm -hmm. And so I drove through fucking so much traffic, just running red lights. And it was just like full. <laughs> you just didn't notice? <laughs> just didn't even see the red light in the fucking Jesus corner. Christ. I saw two cars stopped. There's a three lane highway, or a three lane road. And it, uh, two cars are stopped. I'm in the middle lane. And I just fucking okay. go right through. Okay. Did not know that there were cars whizzing by at 50 miles an hour. Okay, I think that's a lack of attention on your part. Yes, but blind, <laughs> stupid luck. Jesus Christ. Has kept me alive. Base. I would. Control. I should have died seventeen times over. Oh shit! I forgot about uh. Years. They're gonna come after us with brood lords. Oh yeah. That's no. bad. They have sky things. Okay, where's my? Oh yeah, my SUV's over there. So if uh, we were to go after the, the worms, how do we collapse the tunnels? Uh, you actually take control of Jim Rayner, uh, Tychus Finley, Swan, your favorite uh, dwarf. Yeah. I do and uh, dwarf. Stedman, the scientist. Yeah. And uh, you do like four fucking player. It's actually a pretty cool mission. Uh, Upgrade complete. But yeah, you, need, you need a bunker. Yeah, I know. I am aware. Uh, what do I do with that fucking SUV? There it is. Oh, okay. Uh, da -da. There's two of them. Yeah, he just came back from uh, from the fucking building up the turrets, so they can't get me right here. And a couple more fucking. I need one more. Not that time. Okay, good. we'll wait on this bunker to finish, because bunkers are important. Yeah. They 
bunker us. What happens when your bunker explodes? Is it debunked? And we're going to go ahead and save there. <laughs> we're going to save to subscribe to hit the sauce. All we saw advice. Subscribe to hit the sauce. And we'll catch you guys here in about 30 seconds. Okay. Bye. So I fucking hate fantasy football. I know. I mean, I know I got really lucky this week. God. Yeah. It's, my team's was, driving me I thought, fucking insane. I thought you and Chris just kind of gave up. Oh, no. I didn't give up. I just. It was just a weird thing that was going on. No, I, I just couldn't get any points from any of my dudes. Yeah. Okay, and uh, A.J. Green was the only guy putting up points for me. Dude, A.J. Green, he did really good. 20 yeah, points, I think. Fucking last year, I fucking picked Des Bryant for yeah. my first pick, and then he got hurt two weeks into the season. I had um, I had Jeremy Hill, and he had a 75-yard fucking touchdown. It was nice. I hate you so uh, much. See, that shit happens once in a blue moon to me. It happens yeah. to you three times a week. <laughs> yeah. God. It's just a weird I'm season. I'm bitter. I know. Bitter. Cubs, you, Cubs are in the World Series. Exactly. You know what? That might be your trade-off. Is it worth it? I'll, oh, dude, 100%. I'll yeah. take that shit. Yeah.